Okay, in this video what we're going to do is write the function for start over. So this is when a user, uh, they've either calculated all the information they and they just want to uh, clear everything out again and start over. I want them to be able to have a start over button so that they or click it and all the cells um, go back to the default state. Either they go blank and the table disappears, things like that. So we're going to write the function start over and I'm going to put this in a new fi file called loan.js, so this is where all our JavaScript functions are going to be. And this one's actually pretty straightforward, um, shouldn't take too long. So function, and we called it start over. It doesn't take in any arguments or parameters. Okay, so what I want to do, you know what, let's, let's do this first. Let's go back here, and I'm going to put in Um, okay, in every single cell, I want to put something in there. I'm just going to put the letter A. Okay, down here in the loan info stuff, I'll just put loan info. Here I'll put table header, and then down here I'll just put table. Let me save that and let's go see what this looks like. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I have A, 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 A. Oh, I actually want those to be in the cell. Um, I'll deal with that in a second. All right, so we got loan info, table header, and table. Okay. All right, so let's go back up and fix that. All right, so yeah, you don't actually, I'm sorry, you don't put the, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put value equals A. Now, I'm going to erase these later because they're not necessary, but it's going to help you understand what the start over function is doing. Oops. The value is it's kind of a default it's when you start the form this is the initial value in that cell so whenever we start this calculator you're going to see the letter a in each of these cells okay so let's try it again okay so in here we have the letter in a all these then we have loan info table header and table what i want to do is when i want to when i click start over i want all of this to disappear i want the loan info what originally is there i want it to go away the table header I want just basically everything to clear out. Okay, so that's the goal. And it's actually very simple. So here we go. Um, what we need to do is we need a way to access the information from the HTML file. And the way we do it is we say document dot loan form. There's where that loan form is from. So what it's doing is it's saying, okay, go to the document, our HTML document, go find the loan. Inside the loan, go find the variable that's been named loan amount. Find the value that's in there and set it equal to nothing. So basically clear it out. And you're going to do that for all of them. So loan form dot months dot value, clear it out. I want the document loan form, the interest rates, take the value in there, clear it out. Because again, the user is going to enter something in. Whether it's valid or not, I don't care because we're not validating at this point. But when they press the start over button, I want whatever is in that cell to, to turn into this, which is nothing. It's an empty string. And then document, loan, inf loan form, uh, what did I call this? Extra value. Now here, when I want when the user presses start over, what I actually want is I want a zero to be there because I want the default state for the extra payment to be zero. So that way if a user doesn't change anything for the extra monthly payment, I want it to, to be zero. Okay. And I also want to clear those divs. So how do I access information or how do I access the HTML inside a div? Well, first you need an ID. I, we've named them all. I, gave, I think I gave them all IDs. Let's go take a look. So in the loan info, I called it ID loan info. 
I actually don't really need a table. I'm not going to clear the table header. Uh, but I do want to clear the table itself, and I call that ID table. So what I want to do is I want to access the HTML inside the div tag with an ID of info. So document dot get element by ID. All right, it is case sensitive. See what happens that if I have a capital D, it doesn't change color. Now it does. Okay, so make sure you type it in correctly. And I want to, I think it was called loan info. That's what the div ID was. So what it's doing is it's now pretend like it's grabbing that div, right? The the function is grabbing that div and this is taking the HTML in that div and we're going to set that equal to nothing. Set it equal to two empty or two quotation marks with nothing inside. So that means when I press this button start over, it's going to take any of the HTML that's inside this div and it's going to set it equal to nothing. And I'm going to do that again for the table. See, I spelled it. Okay. So that's table, inner HTML. Okay. So let's go see what happens. Okay. Sorry, I'm uploading the videos as I make them. So, okay, so let's clear this. Um, refresh. So notice if I calculate, nothing happens. Now, if I press start over, all of these should go away. The loan info should go away. The table should go away. The only thing that I'm not actually changing is the table header, which is the reason I, I left this here. So I want to show you that when you press start over, unless I unless I do something like this, okay, it's the HTML is left alone. All right, so you ready? Start over. Okay, you are not working. Let's go take a look as to why. So start over. How about I spell on click right? Okay, that should fix it. Okay, so refresh. Right, again, calculate, nothing changes. Start over, everything clears out. Notice that this has now gone to a default of zero. Whatever was in this box is now gone. So that way when I calculate, you know, it reruns that function, it will be populated with new information. And then when I click start over, it should all go away again. And that this div, the table header doesn't go away when I click start over. And that's because the get element by ID, I'm not actually touching the table header. So that should be it for start over and the next one will start the validation.